Now we can repeat this same process on the Ford. Now if you notice, this isn't exactly 4030. We're actually a little bit shy. Well, what that means on the micrometer is that we're actually over one. It hasn't compressed this an extra thousand, so it hasn't met zero yet. What that really comes down to is this engine is bored 4031. We've actually honed it a thousandth over. The reason we're doing that is I told you in the beginning, we're going to build two engines. One's going to be completely bone stock. That's what we're doing to the small block Chevy here. The small block Ford's going to be a performance engine. Well, it's not uncommon for performance engines to have an extra thousandth or two clearance honed into the cylinders. Horsepower makes heat. Well, heat expands parts and metal has to have a place to go. So on any typical performance engine, you're going to have an extra thou or two clearance honed into the cylinders. Now, if you're not going through the entire machining process and you think your bores look good, you can't really go by eyeball. Even by miking it, it may be the correct size, but who's to say it's not barrel shaped or egg shaped? So just because a bore looks good or mikes good in one position, you need to mic it in several different areas all the way around because it could be shaped like a barrel or like I say, an egg. If you're not sure whether your block needs boring or not, check the top of the cylinders. If there's an area that looks like it's worn, as you can see, the top side here and the underneath here, there's a definite ridge right there. That's because this area underneath has been worn out by the rings. This area on top is where the original bore was. So it's better just to start off with a clean machining process rather than something that still looks good but might not be good in the actually end result. Now we've already had our deck services machined. In fact, on the small block Ford, we've had a square deck, and I'll explain that a little bit later. If you have not had your engine machined, or at least decked anyway, then you're not 100% sure that they're flat. Easy way to tell if they're flat is get a machinist straight edge, lay it on here, and take a feeler gauge, and try and go through and see how much clearance you have, and see what size feeler gauge fits underneath it. You don't want any more than about two thousandths. Any more than two thousandths, you probably need to get this thing machined. Now, of course, there's different tolerances. Some people will say up to four thousandths, but I don't like to see any more than two. Now, while we have the straight edge out, we're going to check one more thing, and that's for the straightness across the center line of the crankshaft. What this is looking for is what's called core shift, or block deflection. As the blocks get stressed, they tend to move, and once they move a certain ways, they'll actually stay. Easy way to check that is just put a straight edge across the centers here and do the same thing. Take a feeler gauge and run it through. Now you shouldn't see any more than about one to two thousandths clearance there. I prefer to see none. Some people say one is okay. We had it a line hone, so we're at zero right now. So I mentioned before about square decking. Well, what that means is we're talking about the surface area that the heads bolt to on, on the block. When you take your block to a machine shop and they machine it, they usually just machine them until they're flat, until any little imperfections are gone. Well, they don't know how much they took off of one side or the other on any given block. Well, that kind of messes things up as far as compression goes. In an ideal situation, what we want to do is find the center line of the crankshaft and take a measurement from one side to the other and you want to make them even so the center line between here and this deck surface and the center line between here and this deck surface is identical. That just ensures that the compression ratio is going to be even on both sides of the block and that everything is square on both sides of the block. All right, now we're ready to play with the crankshaft. Now the first thing I like to do is get a micrometer and just double check what the machine shop did. Now I'm not expecting all of you to have micrometers at home, so we're going to show another way to check clearances later, but I like to give the crank a once over first. And it mics out okay, so this one's ready to clean and get ready to be put in. Now we're ready to check the big end of the rod to make sure the machine shop size them correctly. We can do this two different ways.